Hi guys, Matt Lister here from What Pictures, and today I want to tell you why it's okay to have phobias. Right, phobias. Yes. Nature's big way of making your life uncomfortable. A lot of people tend to have them from mild to extreme phobias, but we all have things that we don't like and are irrationally afraid of, and we're going to look into it right now. According to Medical News Today, a phobia is an irrational fear, a kind of anxiety disorder, in which the individual has a relentless dread of either a situation, living creature, thing, or place. Individuals with a phobia go to great lengths to avoid these situations, in which the perceived danger is a lot more in their minds than what it is actually in real life. So phobias can range from things that can actually hurt us, such as sharks and snakes, or irrational fears such as balloons and mops. Everybody has some sort of fear. Myself? I'm afraid of wasps and bees. Don't judge. Nasty little <laughs> John, he had a phobia of mops, which he only just recently got over. And Soph, she has a phobia of daddy long legs. The National Institute of Mental Health estimated that in 2011, it was between 8.7 and 18.1% of all Americans suffered with phobias, and that a much higher percentage of women suffer from phobias more than men. Simple phobias usually start off earlier in life, during childhood, and often go away by the time the person reaches their late teens. Complex phobias generally start later on. Events caused early on in life tend to have a lasting impression. Lost in a supermarket when you were younger? You could have a fear of being alone. Fall down some stairs? Could have a fear of falling over. Stairs. And generally other stuff. Just don't do it. I'm not saying that everything that happened when you were younger causes fears, I'm just saying that it might cause a lasting effect. Coming into contact with your phobia can result in unsteadiness, nausea, sweating, increased heart rate, shortness of breath, trembling or shaking, and an upset stomach. So it's not the nicest thing to happen. The most common one being spiders. Now spiders can get f mate. Okay, in other countries, spiders are deadly. They're deadly. Stay near them. Stay away from them. <laughs> you know what they say? Keep your friends close, enemies closer. Keep spiders even closer to you on your enemies. Game changer. Okay, in other countries, yes, spiders are deadly. Stay away from them. But here in the UK, they're moderately harmless. The most common phobias are arachnophobia. Fear of spiders. Ophidiophobia. Fear of snakes. Anacrophobia. A fear of heights. And at least one person that you know will have one of these phobias. Now, oh, Oh. You should not do that so often. Now, there is a big difference between a big fear and a phobia. Being afraid of something is moderately different to having a phobia of it. Having a fear of flying, for example, means still getting on the plane but not liking it. Whilst having a phobia of flying means that you're going to miss out on a lot of holidays and events because you physically can't bring yourself to get on a plane. So why is it okay? John? Because it's not... Shut cool. up! It's okay because... <laughs> it's okay because phobias are basically a survival tactic that your own body has. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Phobias help keep you away from things that the brain thinks are dangerous. Brain. Therefore, trying to protect you, even if you don't ask it to. F brains. Having phobias, though, may limit you to doing certain things. For example, having a phobia of mops does stop you from being around them. But how often do you come across a mop? Also means that no one's going to ask you to mop, so... It's a bonus. Got a phobia of sharks? Stay out of the ocean! Done job! The same cannot be said for having phobia of bees or mops. Mops? We've already been through mops. I meant balloons. It's alright, everyone will be free. Peace. You know why? Because these things just pop up in random places. But it becomes a part of who you are. Being cautious about being around something that your body thinks can harm you will actually adapt to other situations, therefore making you more aware in actual situations where something can harm you. Having phobias is just a part of who you are. Although many are caused by events in your life, some tend to just happen without reason. In the media, phobias tend to be over-exaggerated with television shows only showing the extreme phobias. Most of the time, phobias are manageable. It's just a small percentage of people that suffer from the irrational phobias. So don't worry about it. It's only you trying to protect yourself in an incredibly, weirdly affectionate way. So love yourself for having that phobia. Thank you for watching. If you liked this episode, then give it a thumbs up. If you have any ideas for another episode, just please leave it in the comment section below. I'm Matt Liz from What Pictures, and that's why it's okay to have phobias. I'll see you soon. What kind of Google search can this be, Matt? I'm telling you. Ironically, it wasn't even the search that got me anything. It's basically when you type into Google and it comes up with a lot of suggestions. Impact on Black's career as a substitute teacher. 
That's bad, that. What's he doing that for? He's, he's, made, he's messing around with Kit. No, he's not. He's not. Claiming that he was driven to the...